Okay, so my name is Mercy B, your one and only host, the Akufi Princess. And today, again, we are hosting Girl Vibes inside the Accra Mall, uh, specifically the Silver Bet Cinemas. And today, we know it's International Women's Day, so we are celebrating women. And today, we have a special speaker who is going to talk about technology and how to empower young women as well. So make sure you tune in and go live on Facebook at ETV Ghana as well. We are streaming live right there. And, you know, get interactive with us. Send in all your comments. Any woman that you want to wish an International Women's Day to her, make sure you tune in. Stay with us. We'll be back. Yes, welcome back from that quick break. My name is Messi B. You're still watching Girl Vibes. Have me one woman that I admire so much. In fact, she's one of my mentors. I admire her so much. She is an HR, our head of HR, actually, at Global Media Alliance. I mean, she's doing marvelously well. And let me wish you happy, happy Women's Day, Madam Fafa. Thank you, Messi B. And I wish you the same as well. Okay, so for being the organizer of today's uh, presentation or occasion, how to, does that make you feel? Was it even successful for you as you planned? This event, marking International Women's Day by Global Media Alliance and our partners, Silverbed Cinemas, was uh, for us to get our women together with a resource person um, to educate the women, uh, motivate them, give them that encouragement on how they can impact the environment and be the example that everybody wants to see. An exemplary woman, if I may say. This program held today was very, very insightful for me. And it just reiterated or reinforced a lot of things that I know already. Even as people, how we must relate with one another, how we must impact the societies where we work, how as individuals we must draw up our ambition or the vision that we see for ourselves and work at achieving those goals and not let obstacles stop us from achieving what we want to. So this was a very educational session for me. I really enjoyed it and I want to thank all the women who participated in it as well as the team that came together to organize this. Our Chief Director Emma Wenani at Global Media Alliance in conjunction with the HR department and all our brands. Global Media Alliance, Happy FM, YFM, ETV Ghana. Thank you all. All right, thank you too, Madam Fafa, and you did great. In fact, I enjoyed myself. But before you go, tell me the young women something. Young women in Ghana and all over the world, I want to tell you not to accept it when people tell you no. Say you can, you will, and later when you achieve, you tell them, I have done it. Thank you. All right, thank you, Madam Fafa. We really do appreciate you. Uh, everyone here is special because today is a special day for women. I'm not going to talk much because uh, we are far behind the time that we're supposed to start. And so I'll call on Sweetie Akleka to lead us in prayers and we continue. Thank you. Our Heavenly Father, thank you. We give you all the praise, we give you glory. Heavenly God, we come before your omnipotent presence this morning. We thank you for giving us another beautiful day to see our loved ones. Father, I stand before you and I ask for your grace. I stand before your presence and I ask that you open our ears so we can hear your word. We open our eyes so we can see you in the spirit. Father, I stand and I pray that you open our minds so we can receive your wisdom. I pray and I commit the speaker before you. You. I pray that whatsoever that he will share with us, you dwell in her. We thank you. We bless you. Open our heart to receive your love. With this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, uh, sweetie. And that was Nappy. So my name is Mercy B, the one and only a Kung Fu princess. I'm the host of Girl Vibes on ETV Ghana. I know you all know that because we are one family. I'm also the producer of Friend Zone on ETV and the entertainment producer for Happy 98.9 FM. So every evening at 7 p.m., I have a new host. So do make sure you tune into a KSK and myself. Okay, I'm not going to talk much. So we call on our head of HR, Madame Fafa Beho, to address her to the purpose of gathering today. Madame Fafa. So we give her a clap while she gets to hold the speaker to talk to us. Today is a wonderful day. It's International Women's Day. It's our day. 
and we are very privileged to have a wonderful person here today to speak to us, to encourage us. And the purpose for this meeting is not just for us to listen to the speaker, but please let us interact with her, let us network, let us get to know each other. A lot of us here are working in different offices, so we've never met before. And this is an opportunity for us to get to know each other. And please, after the speaker has delivered her message to us, let's ask questions, let's be interactive. It will be very unfortunate if there are there's a session for question and answers, and we do not even have a single question. You are privileged to have a wonderful person, an achiever in our midst. So please, let's be interactive. We also want to welcome our gentlemen here who today have taken the role of women. So let's give them a round of applause. Before I take my seat, I would like us to hear a message from our Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Enes Boating, as well as our Chief Director, Ms. Emma Wenani. So please, let's have the video. Please, and Director, one thing I love about her, maybe she may not know, her voice. I love it so much. And thanks to our CEO, Mr. Enes Boating, who is not here today. I know he's been supporting us all the time, so I won't be surprised if he's to appear right now anyway. So let's move on. We've seen her pictures with some art. And uh, I must say, she is uh, the main person we are to listen to today. But I'm not the one to introduce her. I'll call on Madam Vida, if, okay, Vida, to do the introduction of our special guest today. A club offering for her. Thank you. Our guest speaker today has a very tall list of credentials, and I will crave your indulgence to um, let me go through them. She's a professional banker. 23 years of experience working for multinational banks with footprints across the continents or various continents. She started her banking career at a chartered bank and rose to the senior management role with, in, within the institution. She also occupied a um, position including the head of enterprise banking at Stanbeck Bank, Ghana. And before she joined Access Bank, she was the main market and the head of main market and ecosystems at Stanbeck Bank Ghana. She also has very um, a very great passion about Beyond the Bank initiative that amplifies the brand and corporate social responsibility with keen interest in the field of gender equity, for which reason she is the right person to speak to us. She has also occupied the role of um, being um, uh, empowering women in education and promoting entrepreneurship. She holds a Bachelor of Science degree in business administration, marketing option, and business, and sorry, master's in business administration from of Ghana. She holds a Bachelor of Law degree from the Ghana Institute of Marketing and Public Administration, GEMPA. Without much to speak to us on our theme for today, that is capitalizing on technology and position to develop ourselves, we would warmly welcome with a round of applause our speaker, our guest speaker for today, Madam Pell Nkrumah. Thank you very much. And Madam, the floor is yours. Happy International Women's Day. And um, I must say I'm excited to be here um, to spend the day with women. Um, normally, um, what we do is um, we leverage on technology and post happy IWD. And then we move on. But we don't get to share uh, and interact and um, have the real conversation. I know we have men here, but um, today, and I was happy you mentioned that this is supposed to be an interactive conversation. So um, I've heard um, clap of friend and all those things, but we are not a church. So I'm not preaching um, where you listen. I'm actually here to converse with, with women, with you. Um, <clears throat> the, I like the theme. When, I, when Emma reached out to me, and um, she's my very, very good friend, 
with a very wonderful voice. Uh, <laughs> um, and not because I work in the digital space, um, because that's the work I do at Access Bank. Um, you know the career, banking career is a male-dominated career. We know that. And the financial sector is the oldest profession in the world. We know that. So it goes back. We have banks in this country that started 18-something. So it's, it's one of the oldest. And when it comes to um, evolving, like that evolution when it comes to profession or um, the industry, the financial sector has also been the slowest to evolve. And I think it's because of money. Um, if you realize what is happening now when we talk about um, bitcoins and all those things, we are trying to come up with reasons why we shouldn't do that. It's risky and all those stuff. So this was just to build a point that when I joined Standard Chartered Bank some time ago, very, very old, long time ago, some of you were not born. Um, <laughs> she was not born, I know. <laughs> um, you know Opebia House. So that's where I started my career. If I when I joined Standard Chartered, that was when the first ATM was being deployed in the country. Technology is a tool. And developing yourself as a person or repositioning and rebranding yourself is your responsibility. So what I'm saying is that we have the tools. How do you leverage on those tools to become powerful in this world where I really believe that as women, you can do anything you want to do. No one is stopping you. In fact, this part of the country, you are blessed. You are not in certain places where you have to censor what you say because you are a woman. In fact, our mothers, uh, we, 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 we've, our grandparents have gone through that. But we are here where women can be as loud as they want. And if you want to be quiet, you can also be quiet. If you want to say you belong to the kitchen, it's yours. But if you want to say, I belong to the home, so I bring it to the table, I cook it, I feed you, and then I go and hustle and come back. Whatever I want, I do, because I'm a woman, not because I'm, for, I'm a woman, I can do it. So there are a lot of opportunities available for us, and we have the tools. What has technology done? Even COVID made it worse, but there was a blessing. Because of COVID, now there's something called working from home, right? OK. You know what the co uh, working from home has done for us women? You know every woman has a pause. In your career, you have a pause. You know that pause period? <laughs> when you have to give birth. Men don't have it. They call it paternity test, uh, paternity leave. No, I'm talking about when another human being will halt your life for a moment. <laughs> and then you are just like that. I, I have a son, a 16-year-old boy. And the time I had my son was when I was giddy, giddy, giddy. Like, I knew where I wanted to be. And like I said, the bank was changing so fast, and I didn't want to miss anything. I felt that by stepping off to go and give birth and come back, things would take me, things would just go by. But I'm a woman, and it has happened. <laughs> what do I do? So I never use that. I used to say preg I'm pregnant, I'm not sick. Because sometimes I get home and I get to work. Hey, today you are here. And in terms of capacity-wise, credibility-wise, you are all technical competence. You are the same. We will not say, let me give it to you because I don't want to do, be biased. 
it will go to the man. But when I come back after this, and there's another opportunity, and mostly there is, because the man will move. It has to be me. Because whilst I'm there, whatever you need to learn, whatever you need to capitalize on to learn. So if this is where you want to be, and the technical competencies that you need. Now with technology, it doesn't have to be school, per se. First, if you don't go to school, you can't have an MBA. I have done courses with Harvard, and I had not seen how the building looks like. You know, I am a woman, so you know we say that to yourself. You come to the gym, and then people are lifting, I want to build, as I say, oh, you know, for women, who said? That dumbbell is not for men or for women. We can all, once you can live, and we all have that strength. So we shouldn't be limited by our own biases. We shouldn't let anybody stop us because everything that we need is available to us. Everything. We are magicians. We are magicians. I believe most of you have kids. Three, four. When you get home, that chaos. You quiet it. And then your man will look at you and say, how do you do this? We are magicians. So use that magic to take you to anywhere you want to be, anything you want to do, and whatever you want to achieve, you can. Thank you. Thank you so much, Madam Pell Nkrumah. Please don't sit down. Please, can we give her a standing ovation? Yes, she deserves that. She deserves that. Just a quick one. Mm, thank you so much. With a little clap, uh -huh, it will make it better. And thank you so much. And before you sit down, I know this year's team for International Women's Day is uh, Embrace Equity. So can we do the sign, please? Uh -huh, let's give it to her. And then now we get to sit down. Thank you so much. Now it's time for questions and answers. Uh, if you have a question, you just, you know, do this. And then we'll pass the mic to you. Where's my second mic, please? Okay, Justice. This is Girl Vibes. We'll be back. Yes, welcome back from that quick break. My name is Messi B. You're still watching Girl Vibes. I want to find out... Um what did you do with your law degree after that? Yeah. <laughs> that one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. So, you know, knowledge, once you gain it, you cannot say you are not using it. Right. Okay. So I'm using it a lot. Um, it's very, this is how I use it. The people I work with will tell you. So, <laughs> um, the reason why I didn't go to, and probably maybe that's when, the reason why I didn't continue was that when I when I finished the three years, and uh, we know what the QLC would do to you, I had a, a mentor who told me that looking at what is ahead of me, and this is a man, most of the people who have helped me in my career, they were men actually, yeah. So told me that Pearl, you have so much potential to achieve in this bank. And don't think that you can be the CEO if you want to. You can. So you need to be present. And this is not the time that you can combine a makola to this. Um, that's the only time that someone had told me, don't do something. And I really realized that it's good for me not to do that because Remember, I was doing the law as my exit. And I realized, no, I actually have a future. I can really make the impact and whatever I want to achieve in that corporate world. Men that mentored you most of the time, what would you say about women mentoring women? Do you think it's possible? Do you think it's happening? Or do you think that what people say about women not actually supporting each other it's just a hashtag, hashtag women supporting women is not realistic. Would you say that's the reason behind you having been mentored by men mostly? Thank you. 
Oh, okay. So um, I believe that women are their own enemies was said by a man. You understand? <laughs> and it was, it was said by a man so that we can continue to be at that war. And I've learned it because I am very, very deliberate when I'm leading women. And it's because we were, we've been fed that we are our own enemies. So your woman colleague actually approach you as an enemy. My man colleague, we are fine. And I'm saying this because most of my trying times as a leader has been from women. <laughs> um, realizing how you were able to stop your law and grow and decide to pitch a tent with the bank and all that. So what do you advise for a woman or a younger lady? Well, anybody. Um, than once transition to another role and taking a pay cut because they want to move because of um, a futuristic plan they have, you know, and the challenges because obviously you spent a lot of money and time on yeah. law yeah. and all that. So I know you're talking about, you won't talk about the good one, but yeah. just share a little bit about your challenges and moving. Okay, okay. Thank you. <laughs> so um, I, I mentioned that I went to law because I was looking at it as an exit. And this was where I, I was at one of my challenging moments in my career, where everything things were not working out for me. So I had a male boss who um, decided to frustrate me a lot um, to, the <laughs> to the extent that you know, we, we all know our strength and getting control, having a lot of units to say, um, lead was my thing. And I had that. And then this man comes and says, you know what, I'm taking three of them, you have only one. So I felt very irrelevant in my career. Very, very irrelevant. I come to work, it's like I now have a lot of time on my hand. What do I do? Then I started getting scared that, you know what, this will happen to me one day where I might end up coming back as maybe a teller or something when I have moved on that I want to progress because there's a banking sector de being detected by grade and anyway. So I decided to go and do the law. And um, for me, the three years I spent, like I said, I really enjoyed it. But it was really challenging because I was combining my work I was uh, a year later after this, I started doing projects in Standard Bank, South Africa. I remember how I used to use my own money and buy tickets from Johannesburg to come to Ghana so I can come and attend lectures and go back the following day because my lecturer is saying, if you don't attend this one, you lose the whole credit. So those were the things that we had, I had to go through so that I would finish what I w felt that I really needed um, at that time. So um, your presentation was mostly talking about the fact that as a woman you should um, be limited, you know, um, take advantage of opportunities and then you'll be able to make it. Now, we've had so many conversations <laughs> every year, International Women's Day, break the bias, do this, equality, and all that. So I'm just thinking, is the problem really from us? Are we the ones um, kind of hindering ourselves from um, becoming that successful or breaking that gender inequality we always talk about? Because as you just said, even for the men, they also have to take advantage of opportunities. Every individual has to take advantage of opportunities. So for women, we are supposed to be told, uh, you can do it, you can do it. Don't, don't, uh, don't look down on yourself. Why are we always supposed to be told this? Is it because of our past? And so we are still um, like, we still rely on what happened to women in the past and so we can't move forward or we ourselves as now are the ones hindering ourselves from becoming who we want to be. Hey, <laughs> answer that question for 10 points. <laughs> no, but 
but that's a very, very good question. And I've heard a lot of, um, when you go for, especially when we get, I'm actually asking myself, why do we even need a month for ourselves as women? But like I was saying, in Ghana, we, we are, even if you are in Accra, so you don't see some of these things. They are, take it a bit, getting even to the beach area and other things, and you see what women are going through. Um, I think the history of women, men, and this inequality, it goes way back. We are, if you watch those Asian movies, you see how a woman cannot do this, cannot do this. So women have been told we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't. There were things, you can't go to war, you can't go to, you can't drive, you can't do this, it existed. So I believe affirmative action is saying, you know what, that has to change. We need to bridge the gap of, because you said you can't, so we remain here. And then the men moving forward. And now saying now we need to bring a lot more women to where the men are. Hence, we have to create a lot of this visibility around us. But I think your question is, are these, is it working? You understand? Whatever it is, is it working? Because you still have women who are still stuck to where they want, um, in a place where they don't want to be, but they are there. You are still having women who are being taken advantage of. You are still having women who cannot own their own bodies. We are still having, uh, and even in America, the most advanced country, what you do to yourself is being detected by the certain state. So we still have it. But I won't let what it is, f let us forget about the progress we have made. Because we've made lots of progress. Um, so you were talking about the fact that they wanted you to be um, head teller, but you knew that this is what you want to do. Like there's something that you, know you are good at and that's what you want to move forward in but let's say in a situation where you know that okay this is my what i feel like i i do better in um i'm happier when i'm doing this but there's this like opposition no i think you do better here but i know what i'm good at and i know this is what I <laughs> how do you go about it do you think that it's okay for women to have like women in higher positions to have that bias like when you are dealing with a younger woman someone who's looking up to you you should like give them a chance over the men do you think that like that's okay like it's fair if women do that okay so i'll come to your question but so just to correct not do you believe women are their own enemies you know, we all form values and principles and other things. So one of my principles is that because of that, women are their own enemies. I'll do the opposite. You understand? And I know that because of that, you come with a, some prejudiced mindset that this woman that I'm coming to meet, she's uh, a terror. And when you know me, you know I can be like, like that. But it's the job. I'm working. You understand? But women don't understand that. And men will watch. Because remember what I said. It was said by a man. So it's like they set the playing field for us to get ourselves dirty. So I won't allow. So that's what I, I'm saying. So now to your question. You know, in, I was told by a male mentor, who is another, this one was a very strong Nigerian man, who was very, very good to me, and said, everything you learn in life is capital you are gaining. Do you get my point? So it's like you are going to build a business. You go to your mother, you go to your friends, you are looking for money to start the business. So that's the capital you, you're trying to mobilize. So everywhere you are, see yourself as you are gaining that capital for that love that you want. That is, this is where I want to be. We want to 
say a very big thank you to our own country director of Silver Bed Cinemas, Madam Mrs. Fumi Onuma. Please, let's give Fumi a round of applause. Fumi, please rise. Let them see you again, because I don't think everybody here knows you. Global Media Alliance and Silver Bed Cinemas have a very beautiful and a lovely relationship. And it's a typical example of a relationship where women thrive and work together so smoothly. We always help one another every time we need to end, we have our events together. We do a lot together. And they scratch our back and we scratch theirs. So Silver Bed Cinemas, Auntie Fumi, Vivian, Thank you so much for allowing us to have our event here. We are very grateful indeed. It's been wonderful. One thing I would say that I have taken away in all that we have said here today is as women or as human beings, what value do we bring to our environment? What value do we bring to our families? What value do we bring to the workplace? What value do we bring to our communities or to the society? Not everybody, though, will be as big as a CEO. That's a reality. You, not everybody is going to be a CEO. Not everybody is going to be a big person somewhere. But you can make an impact wherever you are. And that is what should be important to you. Do not feel that by the time you are 50 and you haven't achieved success in quotes as a CEO or maybe your own, um, uh, an entrepreneur in your own business or something means that you haven't achieved anything. No. What impact are you making? And you are impacting individuals one person at a time. For those of you who are living with little children, they may be your children or not, you have an opportunity to impact someone. So that's what you have to do. We all have the opportunity to mentor people. So how are we doing that? Again, you don't need to be in a top position to mentor someone. You can be in a lower position and mentor someone in a higher position. But it also depends on how you present yourself. So confidence is very important. In my experience as I like to say an HR person, but I really no. Just as a person, one thing that brings the biggest amount of conflicts and misunderstanding among people is communication. I mean, the lack of it, lack of communication, brings a lot of misunderstanding and disagreements between people because we are not communicating at all or we're not communicating properly. So it's something that we have to learn and I like the lady who asked the question about why do we have to, you know, why do we have a, a day we have to celebrate and why do we have to keep saying and the women here and the women here and all that. I want us to acknowledge how far we've even come. Because for you sitting here, you are probably the first, second, third generation in your family to do something. Maybe Messi is the first generation presenter in your family among the ladies. You understand? You may be the first generation of something in your family or not. But if you want to go back into your family, maybe three, four, five generations, and you look at where our great, great grandmothers were and where we are today, you see how far women have come. But the truth is that we can't do anything without the men. And when um, Madame Pell said, um, you know, men have helped her along the way, and we all said that, I said, the men are supposed to help us because they are the ones in the positions. So they have to help us. Fortunately or unfortunately, I have never had a female boss. I've had only men as my bosses in my working life. And so far, those, I would say, who are my direct bosses have been wonderful. They've been very helpful. And one thing I always look out for is what can that person teach me? What can I learn from that person? So I prefer to do a little bit more listening, but by the time I decide to say something, then it is bam, it's impactful. 
Okay, so I want to encourage all of us. I want to say a big thank you to you, Madam Pearl, for making time to be with us this morning. I mean, <laughs> you could have been in a meeting or doing something really important to bring you some big bucks, but yet you are here with us today and we are very grateful. So we want to call on our own Fumi Onuma to please do the presentation on our behalf. So and Fumi, please come. Yeah, so please, Madam Pell, please come. Sorry. Please, Auntie Fumi, read what it says. <laughs> this is an appreciation for speaking to and empowering the Global Media Alliance ladies during the International Women's Day 2023. Happy International Women's Day. Thank you. You have to stand nicely and then we take a picture. All right. Thank you very much. Director One. Uh -huh. So, Director is here. Uh, Isaac Young Sin is also here. Shako Shako. Oh, give us a wave. Our men. We cherish you. Okay. Support us more. Jordan Kunu. Yes. Uh, the man, the digital man. We appreciate you. And our sounds man. Justice. Please don't off my mic. Okay. <laughs> all right thank you ladies we really appreciate you for spending uh some hours of your day with us we really do appreciate to so our yfm team etv team uh global media team and to our special guest and her team but we didn't hear your name well can you please kindly tell us you know just a little introduction of you maria you want to see my face <laughs> okay i'm marianne head of Wealth Management in Affluent Bank and at Access Bank. I'm Fisla Darcy. I'm a team lead for Affluent Banking. Thank you. So we say thank you. I just spotted on my producer. Yeah, she's the producer of Girl Vibes on ET. We can. Oh, Rush. Hey, wave. Uh huh. So uh, there is a swing news. We are going to broadcast this live on Girl Vibes. It won't be live, actually. So since it's been recorded, it's going to be aired on Girl Vibes coming on Saturday at exactly 6 p.m. Oh, please clap for my producer. And don't forget, Peter. I will be interviewing a few people after this. So please don't go, okay? We'll meet you outside, and then we'll do a little chit-chat, just as we do on the Vibes with you. Just a little vibe. And then we say thank you on this note. My name is Mercy B, the one and only a Kung Fu princess. This is Girl Vibes. We'll be back. Yes, welcome back from that quick break. My name is Messi B. You're still watching Girl Vibes. Madame Pearl in Chroma happens to be our special guest for today. And I must say, whatever she said was so insightful. And the fact that she happens to be a fancy, you know, Confia Princess, when it comes to fancies, you know, I get to blush a lot. And she being a fancy that is, you know, growing up and doing marvelous things that we young women can look up to, I feel excited. Today is International Women's Day, so happy, happy International Women's Day to you. Thank you very much, and I'm happy to be here. I was saying that it's the best place to, um, to spend my day talking to the young girls and interacting. I'm very excited, and I appreciate GMA for making this opportunity for me. Thank you. And I love your outfit with the bees making you look African in the month of March. Um, and I love the fact that you made time for us today. What will you say on camera to other women, other young girls who are watching us today? Um, like I said, we are in a limitless world, so you shouldn't limit yourself. Everything that you need, you have the tools, you have the opportunity, and once you don't stop, you can get what you get. Don't let anyone stop you, and be above all, don't stop yourself. And in all the questions that the ladies asked in the room, I think one that was being punched on was women being our own enemies. And to address again here as you're watching Girl Vibes, yes, I want her to quickly give us, you know, a little education on us. Are we still our own enemies as women? Hello? Like I said, it was said by a man. 
so and this is this is something that is planted in our heads so that we fight and then we'll be like yeah look at them two women so we are not our own enemies we fix each other's crown we carry each other we support each other we can only cross that gap if we move collectively and together and women are doing it so we are not our own enemies don't let the men deceive you okay. so you heard it from madame pell and chroma she happens to be a big woman actually with uh access bank and you know we'll, we'll write a title down uh, if if uh, since we are still on camera can you tell us more about you just a little bit about you I am the executive director for retail and digital banking, leading the digital transformation in Access Bank. And that's a woman, so you can also do it. So uh, we'll continue. This is Girl Vibes. And as Global Media Alliance, we organize an occasion to talk to women about technology. And I have with me one of our very own ladies from GMABC, and she happens to be my friend as well. Hello, it's been a while. Yes, it's been. How are you? I'm good. Happy New Year. We are still in March, and it's a new year anyway. <laughs> but we celebrating women today. How does that make you feel? Well, um, I think it's like one of the things that the speaker said was that if we look at what we've ex what has been in the past, what women have gone through, and how far we've come, it's good we celebrate women. Um, and I'm happy that we are getting the mentorship, the knowledge, the education, so that as women we are also able to push our way forward, and also recognize our value, and not let the things that we see around us or things that we've heard to take um, action, but rather we should know what we want to achieve and then take that action for ourselves. All right, dear, thank you so much. When you come to Global Media Alliance, BC, actually, when you go to the client service department, this woman is actually a big woman. Abby, happy meeting you here today. Same, 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 same. She doesn't do a lot of talking, but today she will talk. I know uh, today is International Women's Day. As we are celebrating women, what will you tell the young women watching us today? Okay, so I want to say a happy International Women's Day to all women along, around the world today. And it's a special day for us to celebrate who we are and what we've been able to achieve and then pick up on our shortfalls. And I want to remind all the women uh, around the world today that you are enough and you are strong and you can do much more than you can ever pursue. Yeah. All right, that's great. So uh, before I let you go, we, we had a, a little, you know, should I call it seminar? Yes, an occasion for women. What did you really f learn from our speech for today? Okay, so um, from the presentation, I understood the fact that sometimes we are our own limitations and now there's a lot of material and resource online so we don't have excuses as to why we can't progress. So invest in personal learning, that's what I can say. All right, thank you Abigail, we appreciate you. One woman that I admire so much, I wish you would be my friend anyway, but we are close, we are one family, so it's been a while, I miss you Akosia. Yes, uh, thank good you, good, happy good. International. Thank you darling, same to you. Thank you, thank you very much. And today we're celebrating women. How does that even make you feel, Ako? I mean, for me, every day is a celebration of women, but I think that it's, it's always important to have um, a day s separately, um, you know, to amplify it. So today, I mean, I want to wish all the women, you and all the women in the world, in Ghana, you know, you're doing a good job considering all that's happening, and we are proud of you. Keep doing what you do. Ghana cannot move forward without you. Okay, and let me tell you, you are one of my mentors. Yes, I really do look up wow. to you. I started listening to you way back, 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 back. So on an International Women's Day, I want to appreciate you for being there for young women like us, you know, being the host of Girl Vibes. Charlie, you had a lot in part in there. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you so much too, all right? Have a great day. Thank you, Akosia. It's show time. You know when you see this woman, her voice alone, mm -hmm. And she's also one of my mentors, actually. I admire her so much. From the very day that I entered Global Media Alliance, I think the, her first show that she hosted was uh, African Legends Night. Yes, and that day, Charlie, have I ever learned? It's showtime, actually. And I have with me the host of African Women's Voices, one of my favorite shows. You know, Girl Vibes is one of my favorites, too. And I love women's shows, so yes, African Women's Voices. She is the host of the show. Make sure you watch her, actually. Hello, Mrs. Soye. <laughs> 
Hi, Mercy. You know, I, I'm talking about uh, Girl Vibes and African Women's Voices show. I'm very happy about the collaboration and the friendship we enjoy. And people should look forward to Mother's Day. We always do something together during Mother's Day. So uh, back to International Women's Day. <laughs> yes. I am excited that it's happening today, a Wednesday. And you know, the saying goes, women crushing Wednesday. But um, since Girl Vibe uh, is showing on Saturday, I will really want to say that the weekends get better with Girl Vibes. So you always have to stay tuned to ETV Ghana. All right, so today being Women's Day and you being a special woman as well, and with this event that is being organized by HR Department of Global Media Alliance, uh, what is it that you learned in there that you would like to share with my, my viewers, my young women watching us there? Uh, what I picked actually is from the theme. It's, it's true, everyone is saying let's embrace equity, you know, we're embracing ourselves. So, uh, aside that, uh, this theme this year is actually making us to look at uh, technology and the use of it and how women can take charge of this space. You know, we are all so used to technology to the point that we sometimes forget that it can do a lot more for us. So as young girls who spend so much time trying to look good on socials, let's just use the technology to do things better for ourselves, to promote ourselves in positive light, to be able to educate ourselves. Because right now, information is at the fingertip. If you just want to know about any topic, you just type it out. Technology makes it possible for you to you know, face a world or a wide range of um, you know, items or information about it. So what I'd like to say to young girls, in effect, is that let's make good use of technology to do good and also to better ourselves. All right, thank you so much. So make good use of technology. And that was Mrs. T, host of African Women's Voices on ETV Ghana, your number one TV station. We appreciate you, Mrs. T. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching today's special edition of International Women's Day as we celebrated here. And also, thank you for watching Girl Vibes. Always make sure to stay with us again next week. And thanks to my team, to Peter, Rashida, and their entire crew. We really do appreciate. And to the guest speaker, yes, Madam Pell in Chroma. We say thank you, thank you to you and to the entire organizers of this event. Thank you for watching Girl Vibes.